Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our playthrough of Dark Souls. In our last episode, we finished our business down in the Darkroot Garden, and we're ready to go back to the basin and fight the Hydra there. So we're going to make our way down to the basin from the Undead Berg uh, bonfire. Is that guy coming? Yes. Again, they're not much to deal with, but... I'd rather not leave these guys behind us to cause us trouble once we move on. So let's get going. A little backstab action. Take out the axe guy here first. There we go. Don't forget the little guy in this house. We fought him before, but... I know we've run past him before a lot of times, too. There we go. And besides, the few extra souls never hurt anyone. Now we're going to go ahead and run past the three stooges up here. Or, not run past them, but run around them so we can get the guy with the firebomb. Again, like I said in the last episode... It's nice to kind of come back to a place like this where the enemies are not super tough. We kind of can get that power fantasy, feel like we've improved quite a bit over what we used to be. Just look how quickly we are just mowing through these guys. Not much of a care. That's a weird shadow. One more here. And that brings us back to the tower. So we're going to head back down. Uh, the one thing I'm confused on is we ended up not fighting a Black Knight on the way down uh, the Basin route uh, last episode, which I thought there was a Black Knight there, the one that had the Black Knight spear. I may have to go back looking for him. Now, if I find him, I'll make sure I... Uh, Record it. Maybe just do its own little hey, watch me die to a black knight over and over again video. Here we are in the dark root basin. So there's two things in the basin. There's the hydra that we're going after. Well, there's actually three things. The hydra we're going after. These blue golems. Which, let's see if we can get one to come at us here. These blue golems, which we need to fight. And... There is also an NPC that unlocks the DLC uh, for the game as well in this area. So be aware that all of that is down here for you to deal with. Let's start by taking care of one of these golems. Come on, get around the tree, buddy. Now these golems have two b attacks that uh, cause shards of ice and glass to come out of the ground. They're not super fast. You just want to be careful that you're not in the round them when they raise both their hands up in the air. Because that means they're about to do this attack. Which hits all kinds of stuff nearby. But just be aware of that. As you can see, kind of slower enemy. Mostly physical damage, stuff we can block. Nothing to be too worried about. Just don't let them get snazzy on you. 200 souls a pop, not worth fighting a lot. Uh, is that just another one of them up there? Yeah, make sure that's not an item we had to get. Our main target is the Hydra, way down here. So we are actually going to book it down to where his fight takes place. Because see this nonsense? Oh, that may kill us before we get to him. That will pretty much kill all the golems behind you. So you don't worry too much. As you can see, it can also kill you. And it didn't actually kill a single golem behind us. Holy moly's. Whew. Let's try this again. 
Uh, I think we're just gonna try and book it over there. See if we can shave some time off the episode. Every time I try to shave time off by booking it, I get caught somewhere and we die. And it's terrible. Ooh. All right, pretty sure they won't chase us down here. If they do, we're going to have a problem. Are we safe? I think we're safe. I don't hear the pitter-patter of little feet. Now... That Hydra's attack looks like magic to me. So I tell you what, let's swap out to something that has a better magic defense, like our Crest Shield. See if that doesn't keep us from taking as much damage. Go ahead and heal up. Now the reason we kind of want to book it to that guy is that the minute he sees us and starts doing those attacks, it, uh, it's just non-stop until you get to him. Once we get close, he'll stop using them and come in for a close-up attack, but until then, it is dangerous. Let's see if we can get back around him. Kind of do some rolling. This one golem chases us here. We'll just deal with that when the time comes. Did we get there? Come on, be done doing it. Nope. Yep, we're going to cut these runbacks out. All right, let's give this another try. And this time, I think we're gonna be a little more careful. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna wipe out these golems one by one. Use our arrows to get them to come to us here. That way, we only have to worry about our buddy, the Hydra. Come on, get around the trees. I know it's difficult. Woo! Somebody wasn't happy. Take this big guy down here. Again, they're not real tough. 
Uh, they don't present too much of a problem. Uh, how close can we get if we stay over here? Is he already doing stuff? No, he's just kind of Hydra in around. Uh, I think this guy's going to get. Oh! So he is. He is shooting his magic. Maybe if we stick to the side rock here, we can use the mountain to block most of his attacks. Let's see what happens. Oh, these golems need to learn to walk around trees better. Come on. Can this just be done quickly? Okay. How to get yourself killed. Screw up the camera over and over again. Instead of just fighting the thing. Woo. It's trying to make us look bad here. Ooh, see? Pretty good amount of damage on that, even though we were blocking. Alright, let's try this again. What happens if we go up the side? That golem is going to activate on us. Yes, that golem is coming our way, I think. Maybe. Oh, look at this nonsense. Look how far that stuff comes. Alright, we're going to have to deal with this one here first. And then we will slowly try to approach the Hydra. Or we're going to not deal with this one because he runs away. Come on. Fight us, buddy. Get over here. Everybody's waiting to see this Hydra. To fight it. To see what that item is sitting in the water over there. You are holding us up. Got things to do today. Episode is already at almost 13 minutes, and we haven't accomplished Jack nor Crud. Ooh! That's a nice big hit there. All right. Now that we have cleared the way, let's try getting to him by sticking to this right hand side. And using these trees to kind of block everything coming at us. Oh, come on! If we heals it enough to save us? I think it might have been. Right, I think we might be close enough. Yes. So this is the Hydra. Now, we are going to fight him here on land. Most of his attacks are physical. And as you fight him, you're going to actually knock his heads off. But unlike Hydras of Legend, this one, luckily, his heads will not grow back. So I'm just going to stay locked on him to keep our shield pointed the right way. If you get too far away, do pay attention because he will start doing that. That again. That's what we need. Physical attacks, bud. Uh, if you two-hand here, of course, you will do damage faster. Ooh. Luckily, when there's this many heads, you can just kind of swing away, and you'll hit something. There we go. One head down. Work on this one in front of us here. Again, not a super difficult boss battle. It's one of those ones where getting to him is almost difficult is fighting him. 
Uh, we could probably unlock points like that and hit them better. If I need to do that here. Yep, just to get positioned properly. Another head down. Let's heal. Just in case he shoots magic again. Ooh, man, good thing we changed shields, I tell you what. Come on, come on, buddy. Oh, missed our chance there. It's okay. Got a couple good hits in there. You can see he also has a regular health bar, too. It's not an actual boss health bar. And which e with each head that we cut off, we are making our lives easier. Because if he does shoot magic, there is less of it. Come on, buddy. Oh, we missed. Of course, we do get to the problem where less heads means less chances to slice. Come on. Oh, there's more magic at us. That's okay. It's not the wall of death like it was before. There we go. Starting to do a pretty good amount of damage. Now, the other thing you can do is... You can use archery, so we can wait for the big attack, we can switch to our bow, and we can shoot him. You can see it doesn't do very much damage, though. Ooh, he hit us in the feet. That was very nice. Come on, buddy. Be careful going forward. You don't want to fall in the water. You will die. Uh, it is deep enough to kill you outright. Uh, another head gone. How many do we have left? Just the one? Yep. Nope, two. Oh, swing and a miss. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Try to draw his attacks over this way. Oh. She's a piece. All right, we may have to do this with arrows. If he is going to be on cooperative. Yep, I think that's what we're going to do. So we will switch to some arrows here. Just to do the last, oh, kind of shots. Uh, 22 on that. I know this won't be too terribly exciting, but as I've said before, any strategy that works is an acceptable strategy. Of course, if we get a chance, we'll take it. Ooh. Stay here, buddy. Ah, oh, we missed him. Oh, come on, we were so close. Don't make me go back to arrows. Nobody wants to see me stand here and shoot arrows at you. Not even I want to do that. Can we get him through this rock? Nope. Maybe we can draw him out if we stand over here. Yep, I think we got a hit in there. Yes, we did. All right. Now we just need to draw his attacks a little bit more. Oh, that's so dangerous. 
That water scares the bajinkins out of me. I'm just afraid to fall in and die. Especially when we are so close to having him dead. I don't know if that would work. Just think, if we had a lot of magic, we could stand here and we could just shoot him with our heavy soul arrow and do all kinds of damage. But I think we're actually safe here as long as he doesn't shoot his death breath at us. A couple more shots. Definitely doing better with this longbow than we would be with that short bow we had. Dragon scale and the dust crown ring are ours. Woo! Not as big a celebration. Kind of a not exciting fight, but hey, we did it. It's not about doing it pretty. Ooh, and the knight armor. It's about doing it awesome. All right, so that ring we just picked up, what does that do? Extra sorcery casting, but have your XP. This magic crown shaped ring was granted to Princess Dusk of Oldeseal upon her birth. The ring stone allows its wearer to cast additional sorceries, but at the cost of one half of HP. So if you're a caster, uh, pretty cool item. Now we have something else we need to do while we're here as well. We're going to run over by this waterfall. Stay up along the edge. Because if you don't, again, you'll fall in and drown. And keep going back here. This ladder actually takes us up behind where that locked door is so if you don't want to buy the the lock you can go that way as well but we need to keep rolling on back here again hugging this as much as we can Whoa. all right this is just too much for me to take there we go Oh, the Rusted Iron Ring, one of the best items in the game. All right, we're going to head back here into this little corner where we can't really drown at all. And we're going to do something kind of weird that you wouldn't think you would need to do. But we are going to exit the game. And then we're going to reload our... And if everything goes as it should, there should be a different monster there for us to fight. And I know it sounds silly, but this is actually how you do this. There isn't another way that I know of. So we'll load back in. There's Grub. And lo and behold, this monster appears. It's another golem, but if you notice, in the its head, we get a good shot. There is actually a person in there. You can kind of see him trapped inside. Woo! Now, it's just like the other golems. It does hit a lot harder, though, so be careful. You notice I'm not even going to attempt to two-hand to speed it up. Woo! Nice spin punch there, buddy. Oh! Guy's dangerous. So you take him down, we release his captive. Hello, lady. So, it is thou who rescues me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseel, 
I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseo, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Yes. My heart felt faint. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. Seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. And thee as well, lady. Oh, there's actually a message here. Be wary of detour. So, that will allow us later on in the game to unlock the DLC content. Now, somewhere over here is an item you can pick up. And we're either going to pick up an item or we're going to accidentally drown ourselves. One of the two. I think that's what I want, way over there. But again, I don't trust this area because you can just fall in and die. Oh. Stick to the edge. Ha! That's exactly what I was talking about. <sighs> well... I'm not sure what item is back there, and I'm not sure it's worth us actually looking at. So, I am going to run back down this way one more time, because I want to show you folks one more thing down here, now that we've rescued her from that golem. Get stabbed. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Pass these guys. Always got to be careful when running back. It is so easy to die. If you're not taking out the enemies. Alright, get back down here. Woo! Man, this armor just looks so much cooler than everything else we've been wearing so far. I'm excited and happy about it. So down here, the good thing is... We don't have to worry about the Hydra anymore. We just have the Golems to deal with. And without the Hydra shooting at us, they are just much easier. Because we can just get right up on them and do what needs done. Without having to stand around and wait. See how much faster that's going. Oh, let's see, we dropped 7,000 souls and we died. I'm not too concerned about 7,000, so I don't think I'm going to try and wiggle our way back. What I wanted to see over here was down by this stone, or a stone down here somewhere should be yes her summoning seal will show up down here if you're human and you come back this way hey there's where we died look at that huh. um her summoning sign will show up down here when you come back this way so if you ever need to uh talk to her later on she will be there available uh in fact i think i might need to go back and get myself human just so I can be sure that we've done everything we need to do to unlock the DLC. While we're here and we have this area kind of cleared out, there's not much for us to worry about. I'm also going to kind of backtrack. Oh, uh, there's the base. I'm going to backtrack a little bit because, again, I feel like we missed out on a dark night. I would really like to fight him if I could. And I feel like there is a, uh, another bonfire up here that we missed as well somehow. Is it 
back this way? Good luck. Head down here and just take a quick look. I should probably be splitting this off and do a different episode. Oh, there he is. I knew there was another one. We're going to cycle behind him here. We're going to stick to this wall. There we go. I think we should have enough time. Oh, I just can't see where I'm at. Shoot. Uh, yeah, I think we should have enough time if uh, I cut out one of my runbacks. Uh, I think down here, is this safer to fight him? No, there just is no good place to fight this guy. Ah, the grass crest shield. All right, here. This way we uh, can't get knocked off, at least. Let's see, do damage-wise. Oh, that's pretty good. If we hit this bonfire, I thought I saw it back here. Come on, bonfire! Let's light this. Let's reset his position, now that we know where we are. And we'll come back in the next episode, fight that Dark Knight, and I'll see what's on the other side of this cave. I honestly don't remember. Um, real quick before we wrap up, though, we did just pick up a new shield the Grass Crest Shield. Again, it's another one of those ones that does not prevent all physical damage, but an old medium shield of unknown origin. The Grass Crest is lightly imbued with magic, slightly speeds up stamina recovery. Uh, if you're going to be doing a lot of two-handing with your weapon, you could just equip this on your back and get free stamina recovery out of it. So folks, we're going to wrap up here. On the next episode, we'll fight that Black Knight check out what's over this direction and then I think we should be done with the uh, whole dark root area for a while thanks for watching everybody and as always we hope to see you soon